us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day which is set aside, of which we also have read in your holy law, a Sabbath day which we remember on the eighth day, that is the day of the resurrection. We thank you for this opportunity yet in freedom that we can gather and that we can come to your house on the day that is a day that you have called after yourself, the Lord's day. And therefore, Lord, we thank you that you continue to gather us around your word. And oh Lord, it is a sign and also a token that it is still the time of grace that you have set aside so that your people will hear your voice, so that your spirit will speak to the congregation. And as the spirit knows the hearts and the minds of everyone who is present here, Lord, that you would bless your word as we read it, as we sing it, but also as we meditate upon it. It is so rich, so beautiful, but also so penetrating that is that it shows what we lack. It shows what we have done wrong. It shows our trespasses in our sins, not only against the law, which are numerous, but also against your grace. Oh, how often do we neglect your love, also in our lives. So Lord, we ask at this moment also for forgiveness, as we have committed sins in thought, in word, in deed, and that we have not loved as we ought to have loved, which is the summary of all your commandments. But Lord, that we may this time...